is he coming all the way here? Why not say it on the telephone? I have no idea. If Mrs. Wise's lawyer wants to see you and it's urgent, it means he's left you something. I doubt it. I would have heard long before this. Anyway, I hope not. Why? Matthew, do come on. The chauffeur's freezing to death, and so am I. Was that Mr. Charkham I saw leaving? Yes, he said to make his apologies. He was late for his train. What did he have to say for himself? I don't know where to start. Basically, it seems that Reggie Swire did not wish to divide his fortune. So when Lavinia died, he made a new will with a list of three possible heirs, of which I was the third. Why didn't the first name succeed? He died before Reggie, in the same epidemic that killed Lavinia. But at first, they thought that the second heir, a Mr. Clive Pulbrook, would be easy to trace. How much money are we talking about? A lot. A huge amount. I had no idea. You could never have told it from Reggie's way of life. Lucky Mr. Pulbrook. Well, this is it. Sometime before Reggie's death, Pulbrook travelled to the east, to India, to some tea plantations he owned there. And? He's never been heard of since. They've made inquiries, they've sent an agent out to visit his property. There's no sign of him. So what did the lawyer want? I presume he turned up. He did, and it's rather complicated. But you were right, it was about Reggie's will. So he's left you something? Never mind that now. Just sit down and tell me about the relations that are coming for the wedding. So if they can't find Mr. Pillbox, what will you do with the money? Pullbrook, and they will find him. But if they don't? Then I'll decide what to do. Or we will. Because I can't keep it. No, of course not. I can hardly believe it. I used to come here all the time as a boy. Run to Mummy Georgie. Edith, alone on the town, what will she get up to? So what do you think I should do? Would you like a London life? The fact is, I'd like a life. 